and you don't have to worry about me messing up because I already did. I already did. Hey, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dyes for Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making my birthday dress. I don't have a lot of money this year to be doing anything, not that I ever did anything for my birthday. I think the only thing I do is go thrifting and maybe buy some yarn. This year I'm on a very 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 tight budget so I decided my birthday gift to myself is to make a dress. Also I do want to mention that it is now officially cold out. It's not snowing yet where I live in Canada but it is cold enough that I can't sleep in the camper anymore like I used to. I had to take the wings in. That's why I have this little curtain here because usually it's all open but if I move it you can see the the tarp part, the canvas part that would normally be popped up. I might put a nicer curtain there, something that's like more my vibe. I have a lot of fabric and you know I have a lot of fabric. Where my hand is, is like the wall now. I have to deal with that, although I, it's, it's okay. So I wanted to make this dress ever since I watched The Queen's Gambit or Queen's Gambit, I don't know, is the in front of it? Anywho. And I kind of did. I think I was a little too ambitious and I'm like, I'm gonna add a liner and I'm gonna do this and that. And it turned into a little bit of a garbage fire. Also the material that I picked, it was on sale for a reason. It was on sale for a reason. It was very staticky, very clingy. Everything clung on to it. It wasn't fun and I've never worn it. I've never worn it. And I think it was the way I put the lining in didn't sit right. I think I made it a little too big. So it was like oversized. And this is the type of dress that I can't really get away with being oversized. So I decided I'm gonna redo it, but I'm also gonna use a different pattern this time. About a month ago, I had thrifted these two fabrics. Actually, I didn't thrift both these fabrics. This fabric I thrifted for, I think, five, six dollars. And this one I bought, I think it was like six dollars a meter and I got three meters. So like eighteen dollars. I literally bought this one a few days before I bought this one. And I really wanted to make the, the dress, the pinafore type of dress, which I will I'll show you right here with the style that I'm looking for. I was going to make it out of this and do like kind of a test run in a sense, as in if it didn't work out with this, I could learn from the errors of my way and make a good dress out of this. But I don't got time for that anymore because I want this to be my birthday dress. So I'm just gonna go for it. This one I probably will end up making a dress out of, but not today, not in this video. I've already pre-washed it. Again, if you are doing a sewing project, please pre-wash your fabrics before you sew with them. It's because it might shrink just a little bit. And you might think, oh, that's not gonna be too bad. But if you make something tailored to your body and it fits like perfectly when you wash it, it might shrink just like a little bit and then it's not gonna fit right anymore. So always just pre-wash your fabric before you sew anything. I remember one time I was at the fabric store, fabric line, and the lady's like, oh, you make sure you pre-wash. I'm like, I already know. She's like, oh yeah, I know it's always good. It's just to zip it through your serger, then wash it so it doesn't fray. And I'm like, ma'am, do you think I can own a serger machine? No. Do you just think because I can buy $5 fabric, I can also buy a $300 machine? A Anywho, okay, let's get back into what I was doing and that's making a dress. So I actually got this free pattern online and it is called the Gambit Dress and it is from Mood Designer Fabrics. You can get it free online. I think you just gotta put your email address in and then again, all you gotta do is print it all out, cut it all up, tape it together, and you got a pattern. There is a little bit of difference between this pattern and the last pattern I use. I think this one's gonna be like a little bit easier. And in my mind, I'm visualizing, hey, Michelle, this is gonna be a super easy project. We'll see. If you print it out, you'll get kind of like this. And I've just kind of like circled the parts that I'm using for mine. There is a little size guide like right here, but it's like dashes and dots. So it's kind of like Morse code. And then it just corresponds to these lines down here. So here's the thing. The last, the last queen gra grambit, the last queen gambit's dress that I made was uh, from this pattern here. And then I have this pattern here, which I didn't cut out all the way. This is the, um, the one from the mood. I kind of like how this shape looks a little bit better. I think it's a little bit smaller. It's not so long and I don't want like a super long dress. So I'm actually going to uh, Frankenstein this dress like I normally Frankenstein things. So I'm actually going to be using this bottom, which is the exact same shape as that one. It's just, it's a little shorter. So but that's it. It's just a little shorter. I hope I have enough fabric because I bought this fabric a month ago and it was on sale. So who knows if they even carry it anymore. Enough talking. I'm going to go cut this fabric out and see how it goes. And uh, let me just start making this dress. I was going to say sweater. I've been making so many sweaters. <laughs> So I went into my basement 
it's the only place that has carpeting in my house that way it's easy for me to put the pins in the carpeting so like my pattern pieces don't move so I got everything cut out and I'll show you what I cut out I am honestly really surprised that I didn't need any more than three meters of fabric I don't know I don't know if I could have gotten away with two or two and a half meters I think three was perfect especially because of how big the skirt pieces are top piece is super simple got a lot of room for that but this is all the fabric that I have left over usually the pattern will tell you how much fabric you're gonna need I always just buy a little bit extra just in case I mess up. They are a little, a little bit see-through. The material that I have, I don't have enough to make a liner. I also didn't buy fabric to make a liner. Again, I do not have money right now. I don't think I'm gonna make a liner. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy myself like a black slip skirt or, you know, just something to go underneath it so it's not see-through. One piece here, and then I have the, oh, this is the big piece, and then I have the other piece. I was having brain fog when I started doing this project because I'm like, wait a minute, if I cut it this way, then the lines are going to go diagonal. I don't want them diagonal, but how do I cut it straight? But if I cut it straight, it was in my head for at least 20 minutes trying to figure out how to cut this. And then I cut out two front pieces, the back, if they don't line up, I'm not, I'm not a stickler for things lining up. I'm not that high into sewing that everything needs to look super professional. I just want it to look cute. Again, there is a front and there's a back because of how thin they were I didn't realize how thin this material was when it's like folded up in a nice neat little package for so long you think it's a thicker material and then when you unwind it you're like oh this material is not how I remembered it when I bought it a month ago that's essentially it so what I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna pin what I need to pin together I don't know if I'm gonna start sewing today because this doesn't look that complicated I think I'm gonna look at the directions because I do that. I never do that. I never look at the directions because I'm like, I don't need the directions. I might start sewing today and I might start sewing tomorrow. I don't know. All right, so this is day two of me working on this dress and you don't have to worry about me messing up because I already did. I already did. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I say it's fine, but deep down, is it really fine? That's, that's my life lately is things going wrong and me just saying, I'm fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. When I cut this piece, like the two smaller pieces, I was like going down this way, but realizing when it's going to go on my body, the back of it is going to go like this. So they're kind of going on an angle instead of up and down. The pattern piece did tell me which way to like cut on the grain. And I guess the grain is like, you know, the way the pattern goes, but I wasn't using that pattern piece. I was using another pattern piece and that pattern piece didn't tell me that. I was winging it when I was cutting it. I cut the front right. The front is right. It's just the back. It's going to be a little bit wonky. But you know what? Who cares? I can make a dress and that's good enough. The other day I started to pin things. So I pinned the two back pieces together. So I'm just going to sew it all except for the bottom here. So that way I can flip it inside out. Then I'm going to like iron it nice and flat and give what I need to give uh, like a top stitch to. These two pieces. Okay, well I got halfway through this one and then I ran out of pins because all the pins are in this. And then while I was like pinning these, I'm like, huh, like how does this get attached? I forgot to cut out other pieces. So I cut them out. It's all cool now. These pieces here. I originally thought it was just going to be this piece like this, right? But no, it's a learning experience. So right now I am just going to stitch what I can and then I'll come back and figure out how to attach it together because the dresses that I do are very simple. And this one is also very simple, but it's a little bit more complex than what I'm used to. So... All right, so I got everything attached for the bodice part, like together, like the good layer and the lining layer. Although the lining layer is just the same as the top layer. The only thing I'm not lining is the skirt part because I don't have the fabric to do that. So I have to, you know, flip all of these inside out and then take my iron and just go around the edges just to press them. So then we're getting, we're getting all the pieces. So I just got to iron all those flat.
As you probably can see, I am losing light fast. The time is currently 2 o'clock. It feels like it is 6 p.m. I have no concept of what day it is, what the actual time is besides looking at a clock. And uh, lately, I don't know, even know what year it is. So, great. This slanty part is supposed to go like this, which makes a lot of sense. Looks like, say, these two pieces. I think I have to, like, attach this. I just want to pin this just to see if I'm doing this right. That's a problem that I have, is I just do not like following instructions. I see something, and I'm like, I can do that, but I can't. That's pinned, and then, like, this turned. Oh, okay. This goes here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and then I just have to give this a top stitch. So I'm going to sew this up real quick and then see how it looks. I think I'm going to unstitch all of this and then unstitch the inside of this where I had like, you know, stitched on the inside because I wasn't too sure. This was the one thing that I wasn't too sure about and I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyways. I should do that because otherwise it's just going to get so bulky. And if it's bulky and it looks weird, like I'm not going to wear it. This is trial and error. Like, honestly, I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I took it apart on the back. So it's very rough back here. It's not like nice and tidy. Again, I don't have a serger. This isn't looking too bad. I think it does fit a little bit better. This is probably going to go around here. That's going to get like tight. I think it'll be okay. So I think it just needs to be pressed down. The sun is setting fast and I think I only have like maybe an hour left of like good daylight because I don't have great filming equipment. I have like, you know, a little tiny ring light that does absolutely nothing. You can kind of see it in this, that that's the ring light. You see the ring light in my reflection right there. That's what I use for my lighting. If the sun's not out. I can't do nothing. It's looking like right now it's not done. Like, like this and this is not sewn together. It is like hanging on by pins. The back is just like, it's open. And then these are just pinned up here, but I just wanted to see how it looked. It's not awful. And like, I still have to put the zipper in. I sewed the sides. Yes, I sewed the sides. I couldn't remember if I sewed the sides yet. I'm going to go sew this up here. Giving me Angelina Jolie leg right here because it's like open. I got to sew these together. It's like false hope right now. Like right now it's false hope. It's like, hey, Michelle, you're almost done this. But you're not like something's going to happen. So we will see. Okay. So what I ended up doing was I sewed the panels of the skirt together and then I pinned the panels to the bodice. And now I'm going to sew it up and try it on and see how it looks. I did something wrong again. That's supposed to be on the inside of the dress, not the outside of the dress. I'm not gonna like unstitch all of this. I'm just gonna unstitch this little part here, go in, restitch it, it'll be fine. I'm gonna fix that and then uh, maybe work on the zipper. I'll, I'll, I'll see, I'll see. All right, as you can see, it is uh, quite dark outside and it is only 3.30. Feels like it's seven o'clock and I should be starting a crochet project while watching TV in bed. Nope, it's the middle of the day. Here I am. It took me like 20 minutes to stare at the fabric thinking, wait, what side's the good side? What side's the bad side? And it was giving me a headache. So um, I don't care. I don't care. I can't tell. If some old lady comes up to me in the middle of the street and is just like, hey, your material's backwards. It's not gonna probably happen, so I'm just not caring right now. All I'm doing is just repinning it together the right way this time. I know what's so funny is that the first the first time around that I was, you know, stitching the panels up on the skirt, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should like do the zigzag stitch, then I won't have to do it later. It's kind of like using a serger, but I'm like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna do a single stitch. Thank goodness I did the single stitch because that would have been such a pain to unstitch all that. I'm glad that I was, uh, you know, taking the easy way and doing a single stitch. Take this to the sewing machine, just sew it all back up, and then um, I'll be at that point that I showed you previously when I was trying it on when I realized that it's something wrong. And uh, then I'm gonna go get my zipper and maybe attach the zipper today, and maybe even hem it and just get the whole thing done today. So stay tuned. I know, every time I turn the camera on, I'm in the exact same spot. Well, I mean, this is the only place that I can, like, put my sewing machine. This is where I am, and I'm not gonna go stand up somewhere pretty, so. Anywho, this is the zipper that I bought. It is an invisible zipper, and by invisible zipper, it means that this is the outside, so you don't see the zipper, and then this is the inside, where you do see, like, the little teeth. I don't own a zipper foot. Like, I know I need to own a zipper foot. I mean, would it be handy? Absolutely. But another thing is that you can't just buy a zipper foot at Fabricland, which is so stupid stupid. Like I once I asked like, Hey, do you have like zipper feet here? And she's like, no, what do you mean? Like you're a sewing place. And then she suggested that I go like on Amazon. You are the fabric store. You should have all the fabricy things. Anyhow, I'm going to attach a zipper now.
zippers attached. It's looking pretty good. I have to say the only good talent I have for sewing is that I know how to properly install a zipper and then everything else is just pure chaos. But uh, a zipper I know. I now need to attach right below the zipper and just attach the two back panels together. I don't know, this is not really a tutorial. It's more of me making a dress for myself and recording it. Yeah, on the site where I got this pattern from, really only shows the steps for making like the bodice, but when it comes to the bottom part of the dress, it doesn't really show those steps. Hopefully if you are making this, this helps you maybe a little bit. I don't know. I do not. I do not know. I'm going to sew this up and then try it on and then uh, hem it up. So yeah, fun times. Okay, day three. If you hear a little noise, it's uh, my heater. I have that on because um, it's cold in here now. It snowed this morning. Not enough that there's still snow on the ground, but um, still had to clean it off my car. That was not fun. Yesterday I got done way more than I thought and I'm very proud of myself. Like very proud of myself. Usually when I do sewing projects, halfway through something just awful happens. I want to burn it. I didn't. I got a lot of it done. The only thing I gotta do today is any like loose threads I gotta get rid of. Oh my goodness, did I not do that to that? I did it to this side, but I didn't do it to this side. Okay, I'll, I'll do that now. On this side I did it, this side I didn't, and that was just to do a top stitch. That's super simple. I can run that through my sewing machine. It's, it's not gonna take too long. The big thing today is I have to hem it. When I cut out pattern pieces, I don't do a great job. The difference, I obviously cut this one a little bit shorter. I think I cut this one more closer to the pattern, and this one I, I gave it some leeway for some stupid reason. I don't know. But today I am just going to hem the bottom, fix that one thing that I just discovered right now, and then cut any loose threads. I think anything like in here, I don't really want do it. I don't want to do it. I know I probably could just give it a simple zigzag stitch whatnot but I don't want to do it. So I'm going to pin this, sew it up, do the other thing, and uh, call it a day. This is where I went wrong. Uh, the front panel is what I cut right, but then this panel and the other panel, like the two smaller ones, I cut wrong. So like the lines are going this way and like this is going this way, but like when I'm wearing it, it's gonna be fine. dress is done. I am freezing. My face is red because I was outside in the cold filming the try on part. Anywho, trying to get warm now. Overall, I think it's pretty cute. I give it like a 7 out of 10 and the reason why is I probably would have given it an 8 out of 10, but um, I didn't cut the pattern properly so you can see the two different ones. I think I can get away with it because it is more of a smaller print, but if it was like a loud big bold plaid, I would not have been able to get away with it. But because it is such a smaller print, I think it's okay. It is a little tight. Like like right here, especially when I am sitting. I wear like looser fitting items. So when something like is tight, I don't know if that means it fits me properly or it's too tight because I don't know. What I think I might do is eventually take the skirt apart from here and just lower where I had cut the little semicircle that attaches to here to make it like, you know, the nice like circle skirt. I think that will give me a little extra fabric in the back because it's the back that like right where the zipper is, is that's where it's kind of like the tightest. I think that if this was like any smaller, it would be way too tight, like right here. It's my first, okay, it's my second pin of four, but my first with this pattern, and this pattern was so much easier than the last one. The vertical, the dress is fine, but horizontal is where the dress has its problems. But other than that, I don't really think there's much else to talk about this dress. I think it's pretty cute. If you are new to my channel, you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is the same, Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party. I think that is it, so y'all have a good day now. <laughs>